right now we're going to join Steve Pulusky, Sky Artist. I'm Susan Barnard. This is Steve Pulusky, and we're here at the Tompkins County Airport getting ready to uh, merge our two art forms. Steve's art form is called Aerial Theater. This is his play in the Pit Special. And uh, I'm a dancer. And we've been talking recently about uh, collaborating and putting our two art forms together. Steve flying in the sky, blowing smoke out of his plane. I'll let you explain that a little more. And me dancing down below. Um, this more or less started a couple years ago. We had talked about doing this together. And um, I had ideas that dancing and flying were similar in the way that they move through space, in the way that Steve is in the plane and can feel the movement, and I can feel the movement, and in the way that we both um, use the time element of quickness and sustain, uh, and in our use of design and line. So we decided that we would do uh, something together, and it's been the perfect day today. So we've chosen this day to collaborate, me dancing outdoors and Steve flying in the air. We're planning on doing this over Mecklenburg at a private airstrip. For the past 17 years, I've been using an airplane uh, for 10 years, this aerobatic pits special biplane, to create four-dimensional artworks in the sky. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm concerned with the tracking of the airplane. I mean, the airplane uh, by itself uh, performing uh, maneuvers in the sky, aerobatic maneuvers. By themselves, these maneuvers are not necessarily uh, artworks. I mean, these are known maneuvers, maneuvers that are practiced beforehand but what I do is I combine these maneuvers in a pre-planned event to create what I feel is a uh, four-dimensional uh, aerial theater performance in the sky. Uh, the Italian futurist uh, Fidelia Zari in 1919 wrote a manifesto in which he proposed that they take the planes of the World War I, uh, the biplanes, this is a little bit uh, newer than the World War I, uh, made in 1970, uh, from a 1941 uh, set of plans. Uh, it's already proposed that they take these biplanes, painting them bright colors and the trailing smoke presenting uh, aerial theater in the sky. I did go to Milan in uh, uh, 1983 to try and find out whether Azari had ever done these ma maneuvers and uh, as far as I can determine, he's never done them. Um, dance is an art form that's usually has been traditionally done in the last hundred years indoors and had a very frontal uh, proscenium type view. And what I wanted to do was to take that outdoors and not have a frontal um, appearance or a frontal view. Uh, what Susan and I are going to do today is something that's perhaps uh, 
been done before by me, but never be done before uh, for the purposes of making a video. Uh, Susan uh, Barnard uh, well, was a student of mine at Cornell. Now she's a student of dance, and uh, she will be dancing uh, three movements which we put out together. It's it's you might say it's not exactly a uh, collaboration. It's a collaboration in the way that. Um, say, uh, Merce Cunningham and uh, John Cage would collaborate. In other words, she has a, a kind of a concept in her mind. I have a concept in my mind. Uh, there are certain parallel elements, and there's also the uh, possibility for imp improvisation. She has given me uh, three themes, three motifs, enlarging and restricting quickness and spirals, and uh, together we're going to collaborate. I will be in the plane, of course, flying uh, the set of maneuvers that I have drawn on the bottom of this pattern here, and she will be doing the uh, pieces that she's uh, uh, planned, but there will be an interaction between us because, of course, uh, it, I will, it will be rather difficult for me to see her on the ground, but she'll be able to see me in the air and kind of adjust. Uh, Before we sign off this evening, we'd like to extend a warmest regards to Mr. Mezgar, our library director, who's been a little bit under the weather. He's been in the hospital for a while. By the time uh, this is on cable, he should be home recuperating. We hope he's watching, and we hope that he will get better soon and get back down to the library and lead us to glory. 